Welcome back, everybody. This is your captain speaking, Mog. I am joined once more with our good pal, Blind Scholar. Would you care to introduce yourself? Oh, hello, everyone. Nice to see you. And he's doing his best Miss Doubtfire <laughs> impression, it seems. Uh, we are playing a little more Banner so uh, Saga Factions today by the developer Stoic. This is the module that was effectively released before the official uh, single-player game came out, and is still a heck of fun, a lot of fun, I think. But here's the team we've got laid out. Uh, Blind uh, Scholar, would you okay, like to comment? So so I built this team. This is my team. I just wanted to see what it would be like to go with kind of like a more of an aggressive, fast, heavy-hitting team. So we got three archers. We have a variety of them. We have the siege, the regular variety, and then we have the, the I don't know. Sky Lady. Uh, yeah, we'll just call her Sky Lady. I don't know what it was Mrs. either. Mrs. Skywalker. And then... Uh, Nelfire, Lagertha, and Greta, Greta, we'll say. And Greta, that was the name I picked. I just yeah. wanted to mention that. Uh, then we have Alex again, and then we have Zachariah and uh, just a... Default level zero raider. Yep. So this is what we're going with. We're going to try it out. Let's go. That's right. We're going to get into a quick match, and since these can take a little time to find, we will join you when we find one. And we're back. We just got into the match here. Um, I didn't take a look who we joined. Uh, Jagjo is the person we're playing against today. I've got the uh, chat shut off just because I don't really care. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to try to keep our guys a bit more together, but we are going to try to flank out our archers in the wide section here. We're going to see if this works out. I don't know how this will hold up, but it uh, looks like they had a similar idea. They've got four on the line and two archers. We've got three archers with three on the line, so uh, this could be an interesting match. Um, what, do you, what do you think? What, what should we, how should we handle this? Zachariah is our next character up. Uh, I think that you should... Oh, man. I think you actually should break for the archers. Break for the archers, you think? I think you should break for the archers kind of on their own, and you might be able to get some good hits in before they can retaliate. Okay, yeah, let's shift over to the archers. Let's try to see if that works out for us on this match. Looks like it's their other archers' turn. They can probably get in range and hit Zachariah here, is my guess. Uh, if they do, that's left to be, uh, to, to be seen. I think maybe I'm out of range, actually. And maybe... Nope, she spent a point and is going to attack with her ability and do one damage against us. That's fine, it's not huge. Uh, we won't be in any terrible, terrible danger there. Uh, now, we do have a, a unit up here, the Backbiter, who can break through our line with a backstab. So lining up units side by side is a little tricky against these guys. Um, that's one of the units you have not seen, Mr. Blind Scholar. Uh, that's a new one to you, this guy right here. Okay, so he's like a, he's like a rogue. Yeah, his ability, he basically, yeah, he does like a charge, and you can break through a unit completely doing armor damage, and then backstabs as he's going past for, for health damage. So it's an interesting little hit. Alright, so that's good to know. We're shifting, maintaining at least some of the shield wall here. And shifting over toward those archers. We want to knock them out quick. They are high-powered end, end uh, match units for certain. Yeah, and that's why I think getting rid of them earlier on might be useful. Also, those uh, those shield guys on the left-hand side, they're pretty slow, aren't yeah. they? So it's going to take, take them a minute to get over to the right-hand side. Truly. That is absolutely true, and a good call. See, he, he didn't have anybody behind me, because he can go through multiple people with that charge I was telling you about, so he's stuck, uh, stuck where he was, it looks like, and is going to ride this one out now. We can move uh, to here with this archer and still be in range, because I do want to pen cushion this guy a little bit since he's so aggressive. See if we get lucky, we can we can soften them up. Now you can see their uh, range of movement here. We are totally outside of it. This guy's even further back, and he's up next to move after uh, after us. So it's kind of cool. Uh, I am kind of boxing in our big guy here, but he should be fine. He can shift up and out. So to get over to these guys here. In fact, I think if we're lucky, we may actually have range on them. Uh, well, maybe not. It looks like we might not be able to quite get in range of those two archers yet, but we're close. Getting there, and uh. Nothing else. I think you might have like this different style of play might have threw off his game, and he might be having to readjust. Oh, I should have done nine. That's one unit down. I got rid of the backbiter. I probably should not have killed him though. I probably should have instead of using two willpower, just used one to get him down to crippled status. Sorry to interrupt you. Well, that's fine, but it, it might not have been a bad idea to kill him because then he might have used his special ability had he not. That's true. I mean, it is good at breaking armor. That's for certain. So getting rid of him may may help. And this, oh nice, a missed shot. My armor must have been high enough. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two willpower to get to the further back archer. What do you think? That sounds smart. Sounds like a good plan? We're doing it. Coming back here, and we're going to soften up her armor, take it down below half. 
with a four hit there on her seven armor. Now, it is her turn. Um, she still has full health, so this could be interesting. She probably won't be able to hit us for much. Probably go for armor on somebody or re-engage the group. I'm thinking that she's going to probably hang back because now that her armor is really low, she's a soft target. Now, um, what he did here with these two classes of archer is interesting because, unfortunately, I think I've kind of put them in a bad position. Uh, they're both, like, long-shot archers. That's their special ability is they can spin an, uh, to get a little bit further of a shot. So having them grouped up uh, and surrounded by my okay. units is just... Can you get Alex to in between? In yeah, and get him to. Uh, Ooh, I can now, and his turn is coming up after this guy's. Okay. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I engage this guy and hopefully keep him away. And we're going to go for armor damage because it's oh jeez, click right, mob, click right. Uh, try to wear him down a bit to soften him up for future damage. We got three archers that are going to help us clean the field. 12 health. We are going to be able to get some good damage, especially on this one. We may even get a kill, but it looks like he was uh, he definitely wanted to engage this unit and trap him. Unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to get Alex up there. That's he boxed us in. You notice how his two units on the left, though, they're almost completely out of this encounter. Yeah, it's altogether, nice. So it's your six on there, is at the four, and that's really making yeah. a difference. Right Ooh, now. he screwed up. He didn't attack there. I think he must have misclicked. That's rough. But what I can do is take advantage of your ability. What do you think? Should I stay here? Because I can't get very far. Stay there. Stay there and just do some damage? Yeah, stay there and make them come to you. Okay, that's fair. I don't want to split up. That's probably good. Oh, he was using his resist ability. That's what he did. He didn't attack because of that. That's understandable. That's probably uh, for the turn best. Burn. He's a, Yeah, turn burn. He shielded up and came up here. Looks like he may be engaging here, but he left uh, us not being able to get to his archers quite as heavily as I would have liked. This guy probably knows what he's doing. This is a, uh, looks like a more, you know, veteran match, I'll say. Um, sounds like he probably knows what he's doing. It would be my guess. Should we... We're gonna soften up. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna cripple this archer. I was gonna attack the other fresh archer, but I think we can, we can manage. Let's just cripple this one and not worry about it. Okay, what is he doing with that guy? Trying to swing him up and uh, engage, I think. But you know what this is going to be a good time for, to let you see since you haven't yet, is uh, we are going to do a little tar burn here if we can. Uh, I'm going to put it up here. Oops. If I can click it right and do the second level of it, which is I think it leaves three spots on fire rather than two, so you have a better chance of hitting. So through the tar, fire the arrow, hit them both with fire in the explosion. Or I hit them both with explosion, killed the one. Oh, I didn't even think about that but created a little fire pool here and did a little damage. Now this is a, a barrier. If you walk over, you'll take a health damage for every time you step on it. Okay. Until it goes out. That, uh... It's probably not going to make too much difference to the performance of the opponent's archer, but it will prevent them from getting someone over to help her probably next turn. Yeah. That's for certain. It's been three to get over there, but... Hmm... I could soften up big guy. These guys are both still full health, which is a little scary to me. Uh, ability, hit for one, hit for one. I don't want to spend that. Archers, I do have three archers, that is true. Let's soften up this other archer. Let's let's keep swinging this direction, I guess. Stay out of the range of the big guys. That's probably the best idea. Okay, down half armor now. That's good. And we've still got our shield guy doing pretty well. And you've kind of turned into kind of a body shield here, my friend. That's fine. Plug the hole. All right. <laughs> Uh, moving up and attaching our attacking our siege archer looks like. What is uh? Oh, a name? miss! Ooh, oh, beautiful! Devastating! That is beautiful! That is two misses and a misclick so far. Yep, and another crippled archer. All right. Well, it looks like maybe the tides have turned slightly. We'll see. But you saw the last match. <laughs> the last match. That was a good match. That was a good match. I really enjoyed that one. I thought. I probably thought you had it at the beginning, then I thought you lost it. Yeah, then yeah. I thought maybe you had it again, and then you lost it. It was back and forth. Down great. to the last character. It was a good match. I am happy with the result of that, even though it was a loss. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. Cripple me up a bit. All right, let's break your armor, buddy. Yeah, I mean, I have so much HP, I'm just punching it up. That's true. I mean, that's, it's even nice. Even if I'm not doing damage, I'm still helping a lot, because I uh, I like how I'm using first person for this. Yeah. Because it's the same thing. That's, so that's, that's fair. Obviously... No, it's um, fine. Is, yeah. Uh, yeah, look at all these turns that are getting wasted, well not wasted, but getting used in order to pack them down. It's Maybe giving you damage. a lot of opportunity to position yourself, weaken everyone. Uh, this could end up being really helpful for you. That's true. I mean, that's absolutely true. I'm gonna, I'm, instead of doing two damage to like, 
one and one on some one of these guys. I think what I'm going to do is break some armor up and help finish some of these guys off. Hmm. That's probably smart. Yeah, do a little bit of prep work for your archers so they can clean up and last half. Oh, sorry, time. gosh, that was a bad time to pop a knuckle, wasn't it? <laughs> sorry, just subconscious there. Yeah, but we'll uh, we'll try to soften these guys up with our last couple of melee units. It looks like they're bringing their archer back. Yeah, you like that? That was the pop. You see, we're looking at it on the uh, audacity here. We saw the pop on the screen. It was just, it was just, a just blue topped line, it out. Bitch. Topped <laughs> it. <laughs> and look at whose turn is up next. This guy right next to us. And look at what we're about to do to him. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> He's not going to be able to do much. Probably either going to go for a shield and position himself somewhere, or uh, do armor damage is my guess. He might. He might actually have enough to kill... Yeah, well, no, I've still got pretty good armor. He probably can't kill you. Not this turn. Do an armor damage, though. Makes sense. It's alright, though, because, I mean, these archers, the HP is actually really important for them. That's true. Uh, what we're going to try right now is to tar up here, I think, on the big guy. And create a little fire barrier. Okay. And hopefully burn him. Got him a little bit, and uh, he might be on fire, but that's only two spots I see. Oh, I only had one ability, so those are just the two spots. Oh, he's moving up. Alright, so looks like he might engage. Looks like they're maybe going to try some sort of a cootie on this guy over here. Seems like, but he's still got pretty high health, but this guy does too. Yep, going for health damage. Uh, we can finish off him, but no, we are going to go for the one in the middle here, I think. Uh, in fact, I'm going to boost it to get his armor down and finish one of these guys up. There we go. We used our two uh, willpower that we got from our rally horn from our two kills so far. So we'll have to get a few more kills before we have any more clutch willpower to use. It's fair enough, we got this. I think... Oh, stabbed you. Okay, yeah, look at him. He's just like, what is that, like the fourth attack he's taken for HP? And he's yeah. still kicking. It's great. He's just taking their turns from them. It's true. Okay, so let's step in here and help get some of these guys some shield. And uh, we're going to do a little more damage to this guy and soften his health up. He's getting down on shields, and I think we need to start worrying about his health. It's still pretty high for our, our units now. Yeah, and it's firstly, yeah, uh, because uh, you can start going around it. And clipping these archers. Yep. Which, by the way, uh, those archers all need to be repositioned. Yeah, I need to get them out of there. They need to fall back into the corner, I think. Is going to be the ticket. Are you going to go corner? I think I'm going to go corner. I think I'm Because this is the strongest, and that's going to be the farthest point we can get. It's either that or loop. But that would cut us close to these guys, depending on if we're able to finish them or not. Are you able to kill with the guy you have access to now? Can you kill that archer? Can you be able to? This one? Yeah. Oh, I can certainly... Well, not anymore, but, uh... Oh, is she a crippled one? She, yeah, she's the crippled one. Okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's she's, she's the crippled one. She's, we don't... Listen, that's not politically correct. She is the... She's the one with the lowest health. She can she can effectively do us no damage because she is so weak. She's crippled. I mean, that's yeah, an accurate no, no, description. No, it is. It is. <laughs> Throwing sticks in the spokes here. Okay, so Breaking yeah, I guess armor. I guess going to the corner. I guess that could be okay. I just always worry about going to the corner because then you run the risk of losing options. That's true. That's very true. Thankfully, I broke his health down to seven. It's his turn. He's not going to loop around. He's just going to go for the kill on our shield guy, and leaving our archers uh, the ability to run I, a bit. I think I think you should actually move up. You think so? I think up you and should around? go up and out because look at how much distance you'll put between him. You'll be diagonally across the map. Oh, you know what, though? If I don't move, my damage right now is 6 and will cripple this guy. Uh, do that? Yeah? I mean... These guys are both crippled. Like, it, it'll cripple all three of these guys. Absolutely. They're gonna be useless. This is gonna be the only effective unit. Yeah, and he's gonna have to go... Uh, he's gonna have to at least do one more turn to blow down Alex. And yep. then there's another guy in between him. So I don't think he's gonna get a chance to go to the archers next turn. Yeah. Actually, he's not. So I think you're safe. I think, I think we may have this. He did go for the kill. Probably a smart move. I can totally dig it. Um, why don't we... I don't have any ability. That's right. Uh, let's go for some shield break here. Alright, Archer. What are you going to do to us? You've got the long shot. You can hit any one of our units here. But uh, you're not going to do much damage. You might, might go for the kill on this guy. I wouldn't be surprised. Kill Alex. Uh, she's not in range. She could have. She moved, but she didn't move. She is going for a kill, I think. Yeah, I went for the kill. Okay. Um, yeah. So we got full hits here. Why don't we switch this up a little bit and engage the big guy? 
how far can he move? So if we go right here, that'll, he can hit us if he if he spins. But we can hit him from here. So that'll keep us out of, out of range. Uh, let's break some more armor. Now that he's below 7 armor, we'll be able to actually hit him harder with our archers by default, since we don't have any willpower to use anymore. Actually, our, our sky steward, or whatever the hell we called her, <laughs> still has 3. What... What do you think this person is thinking right now? What do you think their assessment of this situation is? They're like, holy fuck, he crippled the shit out of my team, I think, <laughs> is what's happening. And Alex, you're breaking more armor, buddy. You're doing you're doing the, the I am Lord's not, work. The I am Lord's not, work. <laughs> I'm not going to die without being an issue for someone. <laughs> he may have cut off our ability to, to like destroy his archers in the early in this match with a whirlwind by blocking us, but we made him rue the day, is what is what this has become. Also, can you, can you just... Uh... Oh... Oh, it's. Okay. It, I think it's on. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? I got I time. Gonna, I, I got gonna, time. I was gonna say what. Will you just admit that uh, my clever use of strategy with the different units and the different going different directions might have thrown this guy off enough to the point where he just could not. I, you know, I think that's a valid point. It's. It's. Uh, if you can switch your your uh, your strategy and stay on top of that and play with what's happening, I think it's it's a good way to go. And, and, and you know, look, I think it I'm, turned out. Look, I'm not trying to say that I'm like some sort of genius or anything. Because I'm not. Sure. What I'm trying to say is that I don't play this game, and I just threw together a strategy, and it was so off the wall that you might not have been able to counter it very well. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we don't want to give ourselves too much credit. But, to be fair, switching up the tactics, great move. It, and it worked out very well, I think. And three, do you encounter three archers very often? No, it's actually, uh, I think it's a bit of a power play. Like I don't know if it's like OP or something, but this worked out really well. It seems like a, like a good clutch strategy that somebody might not think of straight off the bat. Now, I, to be fair, like I haven't looked up very many strategies, but uh, if you guys, the wonderful, beautiful viewers, thank you for watching, um, yeah, that was a nice miss, uh, have any suggestions on strategies or team builds for this game, if you've played it or um, want to give me a suggestion for something to try, drop in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. We are in pillage mode, though, and this guy's about to bite the fucking dust. <laughs> this dude And he is, missed again. He's he's like, like, look he's at this. not even scared. You got a 70% chance to hit and get a kill here. And you got the final kill. That gets you experience, my friend. Stand in the gap. Achievement unlocked, apparently. You didn't get a kill with Joe Lane, did you? I didn't. Um, it's okay. Well, didn't, did I? Maybe you did. I don't know. We can change. I, we both forgot about it. Like, into the battle. We just totally spaced on it, didn't we? I guess that'll be a, a, a thing for another day. But we earned ourselves a good, oh my god, 21 renown. Look at that. Compared to last time, what did we get, 10? Let's, let's, get, a, let's get a high five on it. You want to get a high five on the mic? Yeah! yeah. Look at that peak. Look at that I hope peak. that was enough warning. I hope that was enough warning. I'll quiet <laughs> it out a little bit. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching. This has been your Captain Mog speaking here with Blind Scholar. Would you like to say any final words, sir? Uh, I love you all. Please remember to subscribe and like the video. It helps out a lot. And we'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you then. Cheers.